everyone. Assalamualaikum. My name is Siti Aisha Binti Muhammad from KBB3 and I'm your online speaker corner for this week. So today, I'm going to talk or share about positive and negative impact of COVID-19 during movement control order. First, before we start, I will tell about the chronology how COVID-19 started spread in Malaysia. The virus was confirmed which in Malaysia late January 2020 when it was detected on traveller from China arriving in Johor via Singapore on 25 January following the outbreak of COVID-19 in Hubei, China. Reported cases remain relatively low at first and were largely confined to import cases until localized cluster began to emerge in March. The largest cluster at the time was linked to a tablet Jamaah religious gathering held in Sri Petaling, Kuala Lumpur in late February and early March, leading to massive spikes in local cases and and exportation of aid to neighbouring countries. Within a few weeks, Malaysia had recorded the largest infection in Southeast Asia. On March 16, 2020, the Prime Minister Tan Sri Mulyadi Yassin announced a 14-day movement control order from 18 until 31 March. So, the positive impact of COVID-19 during movement control order is more appreciations for frontliner. Before the MCO, who would have expected that logistic driver, food delivery riders, pharmacy and more would become essential workers who are keeping the nation's economy moving and its people well. These were job people used to look down upon thinking of them as the last result career if one could get a proper office job or didn't complete their education. To be honest, some people probably still do think that way, but those of us who've seen them in action relentlessly powering through the challenge of the pandemic to complete their work, appreciate them greatly. Healthcare workers have always garnered some form of respect, but the pandemic has shed light on just how crucial they are in this fight against COVID-19. They are one constantly at risk of contracting the virus themselves as part of their jobs, yet they do it diligently making sacrifice of time spent with family in order to aid patients. There is not much that us ordinary folk can do to help this frontliner except to avoid contracting the virus and spreading it. But throughout the pandemic, there have also been multiple party helping them out with PPE food and even personal hygiene donations. Now, let's move to negative impact of COVID-19 during movement control order. I have two points here. First is IKS, industry kecil sederhana, like restaurant or small store will suffer a big loss. Also, income hawkers, taxi drivers, fishermen and other daily status jobs will be affected. Here, we can see that Income of these workers depend on their daily work. It means if they don't work today, they don't have an income. The second point is high unemployment rate. It is because during mobile control order, there have a few sectors are not operational. First is tourism sectors. Second is transportation sector. And on 9 October, Air Asia was terminated the service more than 2,000 employed to recover their airlines. Here we can see the very hard unemployment rate. I, as a student, worry about K 
20 inches after I grab suits because to get rid of COVID-19 not just one or two months but it take time a few years or maybe more than that so we can see right a very big negative impact during COVID-19 or MCO so now let's break the chain of COVID-19 together that's all from me stay safe everyone bye